Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse. Boy Slap Trade. Welcome back today, guys, to the channel. Back here for some more sports seven, episode number five of our driver's cup. Now, if you guys were here last time, uh, we unlocked the Bronco by doing the Hoonigan Autocross event. Now, this was a sponsored kind of Hoonigan event, so I'm hoping that these are going to stay in the Drivers Cup and we're going to see them progressively down the road. So we'll have to wait and see on that. Let me know your thoughts so far on this series, and we got lots more Forza 7 videos coming out, not just of the Drivers Cup. I've been trying to mix them up for you guys, throwing in builds, online gameplay, in between everything going down. So if you do see kind of a differential of driver levels or money, as you're watching this, that is why. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing the Please Bowling for today and the Porsche 911 GT1 Spec Racing Showcase events in the Evolution Championship. We may go ahead and start one of these as well too. But mind you though, there are six races. So I'll probably do, do one or two and then grind the rest of them off camera. Let me know your thoughts down below. What events do you want to see done for the actual Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen? And of course, if you guys do want to see more Forza 7 on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. Bowling with a car, come on, that's easy, right? You just want to make the car as wide as possible, and it, and and how it's wide is when it's sideways. So bowling, if you're gonna bowl, first of all, we, you need speed, and you need to be completely sideways. Uh, that sounded like he had zero preparation to read that line. I don't know about you, but let me know down below. I love Tanner Faust, and I wish that they actually had uh, their respectable driver gears in the game or even their actual faces that you can see in the car. I think that would be really cool. Throw them in maybe in like a, you know, a specialty category or something like that. But, uh, you know, I will say, I mean, the driver's gear is really cool. And, you know, I said this last time, but if you guys actually want to tweet me the ones that you have on Twitter, slap underscore train, uh, that would be awesome to see them kind of roll in as we're progressively going through Forza 7. I will be starting to put up tunes up on my storefront, um, you know, as well as photos, replays, such like that. So if you guys do want to grab those as they go up, make sure you guys are following me on Xbox, space, slap, space, train. Uh, and for those of you that are not, well, you're missing the part. Man, 104,000 followers on Xbox One, which is ridiculous. Huge thank you to everybody that does support the channel, the gamer tag. We've been a member for nine years, man. That is absolutely crazy to think about. Nine years on Xbox, and I remember the very first day that I got an Xbox 360, man. I do remember it, and I actually was given my first Xbox 360 from a friend. Long story short, the one that he had uh, was actually red ringed, and it wouldn't work. I looked online for a few vids, and I fixed it for a little bit. It was, you know, it was somewhat fixed for a while, and then it would kind of go back in and out, and then I had to go actually buy a 360, but it lasted quite some time, and holy shit, this crown fix sounds mean as hell, man. Here we go. Not a lot of power, though. What? Oh, we're bowling. I totally forgot. I got you. We're just going to slide this shit. We're in first gear. Those are the big boy pins, right? Yep. Oh my god. This is a little bit harder when you are in a view like this just because you can't really see to the sides. I don't know why Forza has not incorporated um, almost like a real head motion to it like we can in a set of Corsa. Um, I just, I don't understand. I mean, it'd be as easy as making a... St oh, we took the wrong way on that one. There was gold pins on the right. We went left. We got some rain coming down. We did the same thing again. Gold pins were on the left. We did it again! Oh my god! I may be colorblind. We're gonna slide it. Ooh! Alright, let's go ahead and get into a different view here. We're gonna waste the rest of our pins. Oh, we're gonna whip her. Clutch kick it! Ooh! Not bad. I would have liked to see different challenges though with these pins. I mean, this is nothing new in Forza, and that's kind of what I was saying earlier. We've seen autocross, we've seen bowling, uh, but we haven't really seen different tracks for bowling as well. So it'd be cool to see maybe different tracks incorporated. Oh, we just smoked that whole line. That was fire. We missed a few though. We missed a few. It's okay. But uh, you know, maybe some different tracks, maybe some you know special races where you got to stop or maybe knock down you know a certain few pins. I don't know. But, 
would be cool just to see them kind of spice up the bowling game a little bit. Did we make it? We have 224. We needed 225. We're good. Oh, we are so good. We're going to get a little drift right here, man. Here we go. Can we just go back and get the rest of them? Because if so, that's pretty damn funny. We're going to try to grab the rest of these that are right here. Let's see what we get. Anything? No. Okay. Game's smart enough, though, which is good. I felt like my rear end crossed the line, but it didn't count. We're just going to keep drifting it until we do. We try to swing it. It's like a little wall tap almost, man. We're just trying to do a checkered line tap. That's it. All right, you know what? Screw this shit. I'm good. I'm good. I don't have enough power in this thing, man. I'm excited to build it, though. If you guys do want to see a drift build on that, uh, make sure you guys let me know. Comment section down below. Appreciate it. I did want to tell you guys about a tweet that I found on Twitter the other day. This was actually from Need for Speed. And what they ended up tweeting was, Ad Forza Motorsport, hey team, congrats on number seven. Let us know if you're ever in the neighborhood and we'll go for a drive. Um, and then Forza ended up tweeting back, says, you got a dude with, I believe that's a full house from way back in the day. Holy shit. I could be wrong on that. I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't watch the show. Okay. But um, what does that mean? Congrats on number seven. What's number seven? Now, speaking of number seven, I watched a movie the other night called The House with Will Ferrell and Amy Powler. Now, if you guys have not seen that movie, I uh, definitely recommend watching it. It was pretty funny. It's that typical Will Ferrell comedy he played, you know, a badass at the end of it, kind of a nice guy at the start of it. Uh, it was actually a pretty solid movie to check out. Highly recommend it. But number seven, there's a spot in the movie where he screams seven where he shouldn't have. And uh, it was it was a good scene, man. Definitely recommend checking that out. If you have watched it down below, let me know your thoughts. What do you give it out of 10? Hashtag the house and then give your rating. Uh, you'll be racing a 1998 Porsche 911 GT1 against a field of identical vehicles. Okay. How do you figure out which driver's the best? Simple. You put them all in the same car and point them to the track. Now the first one who crosses the finish line won't do it because of a better engine or tires. It'll be from raw skill. I see you, sir. There were two different vehicles right there, so that wasn't actually uh, a one-make race. Okay. If yep. you take the car out of the equation and everybody's in the same equipment, then you have to make sure that you're better prepared than everybody else. You have to know the track better. You have to know the car better. As a teammate, you compare yourself directly in exactly the same equipment to the person sat next to you. So we look at data, we see where one person's better, we see where we can improve somewhere else, and you just have to work harder than the guy next to you. Okay, girl, appreciate that. We're going to throw on that Maple Valley gear, though. Look at that, man. That looks fire. Really happy I grabbed this, considering, well, uh, jump drifts. Look at this. It's sick to see other cars actually coming out of the pits as we're in the Forza Vista. Really cool to see. We're going to go ahead and just explode everything here. Let's expose this back in. This is a really innovative, uh, say, menu settings that Turn 10 has implemented. And I think a lot of people, um, you know, don't really know the true power of this game yet. I mean, the fact that we're in here, we're in Forza Vista, we can tune, upgrade, change cars, and then start the race right away. Uh, it's a very interesting way to play Forza now, and it is definitely for the better. You can do so many things while the game is loading in, as where, you know, before you're sitting there waiting and waiting. I don't know, I'm just, I'm a big fan of Forza 7 right now, man. I'm really enjoying it. I feel like the game's gonna have a lot of longevity, and I'm hoping for some big expansion packs. Uh, do you think we're gonna get an actual Toyota expansion? Because, I mean, it's definitely something that may happen if Toyota gives up the rights. Uh, we don't really, oh my god, yep, we don't really know why, but uh, we're on a five lap run right now, holy shit. Oh! Ooh, it's so sticky though, man, it, oh my god, look at our windshield wipers. They are shaking. Oh my god. I do want to do a kind of first impressions of Forza, well not a first impressions, but uh, you know, like actual likes and dislikes video. Again, I did them in Forza 6, uh, you know, it's just something that I've been kind of writing down as I go. Just things that I really like about the game, things that I dislike about the game, and I think it's a great kind of insight to, you know, for someone that's been playing Forza for a long time to see the minute changes of the game. And I feel like a lot of people... Uh, they don't see those minute things, right? I mean, at least Forza hasn't said them. They, you know, they kind of left them in 
as uh, something to find in a sense. And, you know, I feel like the Forza guys do a great job taking, you know, flack or kind of, you know, things that the community says. And they do a great job of just trying not to say anything, really. Um, I don't know. They've just, they've always done that. You know, things that people want, they've never really said it. And they just will do what they need to do. And they'll put out, you know, game after game. Sometimes, you know, that's not the best way, and obviously they do have forms, you know, for people to voice their opinion and everything, um, but there's a lot of things that we are still waiting for in our Forza Motorsport game, like tracks, obviously, uh, you know, missing cars, oh shit, yep, um, but the biggest thing, though, is just online lobbies, man, you know, this year, I feel like the lobbies are cool, um, but the game chat though is a huge, huge mistake right now, and I don't know if it's uh, you know Forza's issue or if it's Xbox issue. But um, oh, we're gonna get that high side pass. Appreciate that. Yep, he's not happy about that. Um, if you guys do start a game online and you go to invite somebody, it'll automatically throw you in to game chat, and it's the most frustrating thing that I have ever encountered on a Forza game, man. I'm being 100% honest, where I just, oh man, it sucks. I did a little bit of a best moments montage the other day, and that was just kind of all, kind of everybody in online game, first impressions of it, and that was the biggest thing, man. We were just upset that it just kept on throwing us into game chat, and we didn't want to be. You know, right in mid-conversation, uh, just there's no, you know, hey, do you want to do this? No, it's just, you're in it. You're in it to win it, man. I'm like, all right, shit. Oh, no, no, no. I just seen those tires lock up, had to, uh, I did not panic. Again, we're on lap two of five, man. This is a long damn race. We're going to bring it out to uh, third person. My window was getting damn dirty, man. Did you see that? I've been also just trying to make sure that my shifting is going slower into gear. A lot of the times you'll hear that kind of grindiness. That's either because I'm not doing enough throttle on the downshifts or I'm not waiting enough in order to put it in gear on the upshift. So I just gotta be worried of that, uh, making sure that you're just going slow enough that the game will actually uh, understand what you're doing. Obviously, you can't just throw it into gear on a car in real life, right? Makes sense. Oh shit. I know Gran Turismo does that exact same thing, however, um, it just won't put you into gear, man. It'll say, no, no, sorry. Uh, you're gonna stay in neutral, right? So I mean, GT, they're going to be coming out swinging, guaranteed. Obviously, they got a lot on their plate right now. Project Cars 2 is after them, Forza 7 is after them, and a lot of eyes are on Polyphony Digital right now, man, for GT. So I, I'm going to be getting it, guaranteed, day one, uh, and doing a whole series on that. But I'm very excited to see what GT has done this year around. Obviously, uh, you know, they never cease to amaze what they do, and it's... It'll be another fantastic damn game, guaranteed. However, it's a sport game now, right? So they're all kind of, they're not production vehicles anymore. Oh shit, can we, yep. We're gonna test this theory because this is a problem with the game right now is that you can just cut anything that you wanna cut and not have to worry about taking a penalty, hitting any kind of sticky grass. I don't get it, man. Why did they put sticky grass in the game anymore? I don't, I mean, it's great. It opens up for a lot more doors to toss cars and start flipping them. Oh shit, yep. We're sloppy right now. I'm gonna go ahead and drift this section. We got some time. I'm not worried about it. I think reverse entry, just fly it in. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's shitty. We're short. We're going off. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, no. That's too many cars, man. It's too many cars. Only wanted at least one. Now I gotta get back up here, which shouldn't be too bad. Excuse me, sir. Ooh, that fourth gear just getting maxed right out. Gonna take that cut. Yeah, appreciate that. Now, I've yet to run any online races, though. If you guys have played online... How are the hoppers looking, man? I, I gotta know from your standpoint. Let me know. Are there bad drivers this year? Are they good? How's it looking? I'm excited, though, for the league racing this time around because I feel like the game is a lot more playable on a wheel. So I'm excited uh, to be able to race again comfortably 
on the wheel on Forza 7. Um, I just wish that there was a lobby just for wheel users. I think that'd be really cool. I don't know how they would separate that. Maybe, you know, just kind of registering that there is a peripheral attached, but uh, that would be really interesting to just go against wheel users. I mean, I would be so down for that shit. I don't know about you, but we're on lap four. Oh my God. I'm going to hit you guys at the finish line. Here we go. Last corner. That we can slide this. Is this going to work? Oh my God. That's such a bad idea. Did not work. Did not work. This is last lap as well, too. No. You're not. You shall not pass. Oh, okay. Jeez, man. That was a little bit close. That was, a, <laughs> that was not the smartest thing to do. A little bit bored, man. I was running that for like a lap and a half. Just sitting here. This is actually one of my favorite spots on this track. Just max out this fourth gear. Let it down just a slight bit. Hit the rumbles. Take out a few pylons. I'm sorry. Downshift it right here to third. And this is going to be just a nice, wide, open corner. Here we go. Current lap, 140. I'm around the last few sets of corners. I'm going to try to top this wall, though, if we can. Oh, shit. Never mind. That's a pretty sick shot, though. A little bit sideways. Not too much, though. All right, man. Look at that. First place. Look at that card collector. Tier 5, man. Jeez, that's nice. Ooh, 27 grand. Look at that. $1.4 million. Oh, my God. I'm rich, man. Here we go. And we can get the Rally Fighter for zero credits. Or take... Fit. No. We're going to take the Rally Fighter because we can then sell it. Let's see what it is to sell. So, we're going to go ahead and take it. We're going to get the collector score of 155. All right. Now, we didn't pay a damn thing for this car. Mind you, uh, we got a Dodge Dart coming up. I'm grabbing that shit. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, okay, so car collector tier moving up. We're at 11,000 here for our career mode. Local motors. Okay, so we already have the Fast and the Furious one. And then we just got the 2014 one uh, that is definitely not as cool as Fast and Furious. So we're going to go ahead and try to sell this. And let's, okay, remove car. We can't even sell it. Shit, because we got it for free. So we go to remove car. Uh, yeah, you don't even get anything. Okay, so. Now, if we try to sell this one, don't remove car as well. Now, let's see something that I actually paid for. Uh, remove. Okay, I didn't pay for that. That was free. I bought the truck. I know I bought the truck. Okay, sell vehicle. So, we can sell for 100 Gs if necessary, which is great. So, if you buy the vehicle, you can sell it. If you get it for free, well, that's on you, man. It's a free car. It's a free car. You can't really complain, right? So that is going to do it for today's episode, man. Specialty dealer. We haven't been here in a little bit. Is there anything new? The car is out of stock? I'm so happy I got that. Car limit reached. Okay, so we bought it. So it looks like you can buy that. Common and super rare, man. Look at that. The Nismo GTR. The R33. 781 collector score. That is huge. The car is 454 grand, though? Shit, man, I don't, I mean, uh, that's one of the cars that you go in online, you're like, god damn, you got the Nismo GTR LM, and I see you on that, right, I mean, I don't know, should I get it, have you got it, let me know if it's worth it down below, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to slap that like button, you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found down below, and if you guys see new specialty dealer cars come in, you better tweet me on Twitter and let me know, please, man. Or just hit the comment section and just spam that shit when it does happen. Thank you guys once again for watching. It's your boy Trade. I'm out. Peace.